Well, good morning and happy Monday. Kicking off with a lowly aluminum chair. I know, nothing too exciting, but it's a start. Let's get after today and see if we can't stuff her. Happy Monday, everybody. Got one of those big fat storm doors. Ooh, and some loose extruded. This one's probably a second door. I thought they were a screen that we're taking apart. It's gonna have a little bit of brass, brass handle. Nice. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Hopefully I can zip this apart. Really nice extruded too, I think. Joink. We stopped three and we have a weird mix of uh, metals going this morning. We got some stainless steel sink. We got an aluminum chair. We have like, some extruded doors. I guess there's no steel on the streets today, only the good stuff. How awesome is that? I know, that's how the brooms break. Onward. Ferris Monday continues. Ah, oh, maybe not. <laughs> they looked a little bit of oh, double jack. Uh, do we get do we get foiled? No, yeah, they're aluminum. There's just oh the bolts that hold them in are probably steel. What's the rest from? Not Ferris Monday. Foiled. Steel piece number one. Oh. <laughs> uh, those actually might be stainless, maybe. No, no. You're stainless. You're from here, right? Yeah. All right. We're going to be smart and go to the back. Try to keep ourselves smorganized sh today. Right up the street there, I see a washer or a dryer or a something that looks like one of the two. Maybe even a pair hidden behind each other. Come on. All the way up the gate. Dang gate. Be the death of me yet. Chair. Ouch. Come on, chair. Let my girl go. There we go. You go there like that and keep it from rolling. All right. Onward. Fortunately, it was not a pair. It was just a single unit, but that's okay. We're not going to be greedy this morning. If anything, it'll help this grill from rolling around. As soon as I drove away, it like I said, I don't want to stay up here. I want to fly back to the back. Smell of a we'll have a stopper. Although we kind of want to probably keep this to the back for the guy in case he wants it. Although she is fairly new, so he might not. Although she looks pretty dusty. I don't know. We'll let him decide. They confuse me all the time. They change which brands they like, which brands they don't like. Sometimes they like this brand, sometimes they don't like it. Sometimes they'll take a flyer on it. You're gonna hold the grill for now, brother. Hopefully we don't unbury you. Got ourselves a TV. Possibly. Oh, we've got a remote. That means she don't work. <laughs> Story of my life, right? She's got a moist so I have to let it dry out before we can test it anyways. Not uh too convinced that's gonna be great. I wanna see what this is. I don't know if that's a bar stool or a barbell with hundreds of pounds of weight on it. I think it's a bar stool. <laughs> 
<laughs> be nice if it was a barbell with like hundreds of pounds of weight on it. But. It's Marshall. Dang it. So much for the barbell. Should have been a barbell. Be like, <laughs> oh, I kid, I kid. There's a pop up hidden in here. I saw what looks like the ends of it. Oh my gosh, this thing's massive. Oh, good try. Good try trying to hide that from me, guys. Big old fat pop up. Big old fat broken pop up. Come on, stay together. Oosh. Oh, yeah. That's nice stuff right there. Nothing else good in there. Sweet. A nice little spile here. Missing a drawer here. Do we got a TV too? Nope. We got a go mower. We got a radio flyer. We got a dishwasher. Nothing too crazy, but we'll take them. We'll take them. Oosh. Man. Not much of that dishwasher at all. Let me stay right here for right now. Oh, the top of this mower is going to be aluminum, I think. If we take it off. All righty. Ooh, what's this? Uh, that's plastic. All right, let's roll. What a day. We'll have to suit everybody up again. I don't want that uh, dishwasher to get more towards the front. I did pick up the dog bed. There's things that, if they're small like that, I don't worry too much about them. We're gonna put you like that. We'll put the dishwasher up there. Put the fridge back here. I don't know what we're doing. That door's gonna open if I do it that way. We're gonna go this way. Bag. Could be hockey gear too. That's why he's got crutches. Uh, you go right here. Anybody in here? Ooh, what is? Oh, these are connects. Come on, open sesame. Oh, cool. Those are all connects. I thought that was a tool tool. That's old school. Those are pads. Ooh, what do we got in here? Oh, what do we 
Yeah, we're gonna take a peek, guys. A bag inside of a bag inside of a bag. Not looking great. Nope. Uh, these could be DVDs. Quadruple bagged. Nope, they were phone cases. What's in here? It is a tree. <laughs> it's a nice bag. <laughs> All right. You know, guys, we found our first ceiling fan of the day. We're fans of fans here at Nacho Stuff. So take a moment and mash that like button because that's what we do when we find a fan. Hashtag fan of a fan. Almost didn't come down here. I saw those couple of boxes. I'm like, yeah, those don't look promising. But look at this. Hopefully that's a cat. Oh, if not, we got a big old fat muffler. Get in my trailer. Sweet! Cat, cat, cat. Just a little toaster. Oh, and the guy from the house with this exhaust, he came out and he said that exhaust is off of a 2024 Supra. His son just changed out the exhaust to a modified one, so I don't know. I gotta ask Jeffy whether he thinks that's worth anything or not. If you guys know, throw it in the comments. It's gotta be worth more than scrap, right? 2024? Come on. Over here, I don't know if these shades are metal or not. I think they might be plastic or wood. Plastic. I was not hopeful on those. Oh gosh. Watch the curb mount. Mind the gap. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to drive up around this car. We're just gonna walk up here. Not copper. <laughs> There's a little bit of metal though. Sheer through the jungle. grill i think what we're gonna do is after we're done here we're gonna go empty find out our deets on the exhaust so they don't get it messed up and then go back out see if i can't stuff her twice today. what do you guys think all right got some studs got some extruded all kind of stuffs here He's been pretty solid, if you ask me. All right, all right. Yes. Yeah. No, I take anything metal. metal. Yep. Anything that's got a me metal content to it. Okay, no worries. Like rebar and beautiful parts. Oh, come on, let me get in there. Come on. I want to keep you from fixing my trailer. I wonder if these guys work. These look pretty nice. I have an older version of those in the 
bulbs get water in them. Those bulbs look solid. And that's a sleep number bed. All right, let's get out of here. It's a run, just a couple more neighborhoods of my stretch. I wanna see if we can top her off. Go on, lizard, there you go. Nope, don't run on the road, you knucklehead. Still fine on pressure washers, man. It's that time of year. We got my pool deck done. Driveway's probably gonna be next weekend. We got a scooter back here. Yeah. Hoo -ya! Ooh, multiple TVs. Fortunately, we got steel chairs. You go there, TV. These are both too old. We're still taking them now. And our razor, which have a battery or two in it. I'm glad we did, did one more neighborhood. It's gonna help top her off. It's one less we gotta do when we come back. Uh, but we're gonna put you there. And a strap. I can't believe that. 2024, he tore the exhaust out. That's the guy that wants a fancy exhaust on his car. And this was manufactured in uh, June of 23. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let's roll. Alrighty guys, we've made it to the yard. We're gonna get ourselves unemptied and then go back out and see if we can't get a number two out of day. Look at this burnout bus. I really want to park down there by the windows, but if other people come into the yard, then I'd be gumming things up, so. We might see if we can throw far enough, but highly improbable. Maybe we'll walk over and break a window because we got some better stuff to throw today. That is for sure. And those windows, just from the other side, they're double pane. There's two, two things of glass in them. So even if you break the outside, there's still another whole, whole layer. Maybe we'll go give it a try early on so I can show you. These springs would make great throwing things, I think, if they're heavy enough. Oh yeah, they should be heavy enough. Get all the dirt out of them. Let's give it a try. Can I miss a bus? Maybe. Look at that thing, man. That's a legit window right there. Let's try again with another spring. These springs are perfect. Probably leave the dirt in them. Make them a little heavier. Oh, I missed. Oh, Jill's gonna come out and say, Matt, stop stirring around. I'm gonna gum up the yard. Uh. What? I wasn't able to break any last week. Oh, dang it, Jill. I don't do well under pressure. Any more springs? Oh, this is like a pipe wrench. This is perfect, Jill. You wanna try? You're good. Yeah, it's through both layers. <laughs> uh. Come on, baby. So just Kev so far this morning, nobody else? Wow. You guys be slow. Oh. 
Need a Christmas tree? No. I stopped by Jeffy. Jeffy said this probably won't sell, but this part's stainless, so I'm at least gonna cut that off. Ooh. We might try to sell it too. Throw sure, this battery in the pile. <laughs> oh. I really wish one of these would turn. They probably do. Probably just blind. Oh, these clips are not sharp at all. I know, there's a little bit of aluminum and brass in there. We're not gonna chase that right now. Huh? Are you? Yeah. You gonna go uh, do the manatees? Uh-huh. My wife took me uh, clamming out there. It's, it's gotta be close to around this time. You take a boat out and you go far out, like I wanna say five miles, but you can almost stand. It's like sandbars and stuff out there. And you catch these little scallops. And they're delicious. You can eat them raw. Okay. Huh? Yeah. But a lot of people go there to watch manatees because the manatees will come in because it's warm inside the the river there. And so they'll come up. They always have tours where people have the, like the noodles and they just like float around. <laughs> Yeah, this is going, guys. We might check for the motor in that, I don't know. It's bungee off of there. A little brass at the end. Yeah. Oh, I found my, uh, my sledge, my little sledgehammer. Found it in the garage over the weekend. I didn't bring it, but I found it. I thought I lost it. I thought it was consumed by the yard. It was consumed by my garage. Get the motor off. Two motors actually on that one. We'll in a minute. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna shake that little bit of aluminum. Oh, not today. We're gonna try to get back out on the street. Finish our route. Go after our leads. See if they're still there. Hopefully they are. You hang right there, brother. I told Je I when I stopped and saw Jeff, I said, I don't know that I'm gonna come back until later. Still the them. Mess with my eyes this morning. So aluminum, aluminum, studs. Uh, we'll take a little bit of wire, I guess. Uh, there looks good. Get my pocket before I lose it. I believe this guy is steel. Oh, I put that on there. I forgot I did that. I didn't want it rattling around until we actually got some stuff in here. What are you stuck on? Oh, the lock. 
Yeah, steel. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. It's already good. Go, go, go. This whole guy can go. Oh, let's get the right glider. Chair is definitely still good. Come on. There we go. Steel. <laughs> Top steel. That part's aluminum now. What else did I think was aluminum? I don't know, I feel like there's something else I should need to check. Nice non fair stuff we started with up here. Come on, pop up. Don't take my chair. Alright guys, that's all she wrote. Whoa. We're gonna get all this junk back up in here. Then we're gonna go uh, back up to the street. We'll do Jeffy after lunch. Onward. Guys, we made it out of the yard back on the road. This comes from a subscriber. Thank you, Paul who had uh, tipped me onto this refrigerator. Didn't come first thing this morning because this is a neighborhood that's not normally a Monday pickup. So I didn't have to worry about somebody else potentially scooping up quite as much as you would on an area that's being scouted that particular day. So I left it to, to uh, what would you call it? I left it to uh, marinade. <laughs> until I got out here. Why doesn't this want to stay up, man? That's why I put the bungee on it. I keep trying to fall over. I'm going to find the space. Alright, you're going to be difficult. We're going to make you stay up. There you go. Yeah. And like I said, I don't know how well I explained it. The, the muffler, Jeff said that probably won't sell because people that are changing the mufflers are going to put um, bigger tubing on so it has more airflow and something else he said. Essentially, it's highly improbable to sell that, but like I said, ooh, there's a motor here too, um, is to give it a try. If not, we're at least going to cut this bottom tank off because she's stainless. What kind of motor? Oh, that's a, an alternator. Stainless steel KitchenAid. 
factory certified parts in here, so they were trying to fix it without success. That's probably a brand new board right there. Whirlpool factory certified part. Board didn't work. Either that or they put the change boards. This is the old board or the new board. Or we might take the board out of there and compare them. Because that means one of them is probably new. We should save the drawers, right? <laughs> no, we're not saving the drawers. Man, this guy is a haunting beast. Is she stainless? On top of being ginormous? Let's see. Come on, be stainless on top of that. No such luck. Oh well. All right, let's do this. can stop trying to open on me here. <laughs> All right, like such, she's in. Onward. Thanks again, Paul. Ready, guys. As usual, always be asking. ABA. Why do I say that? Because we got a water heater. Yeah, we didn't get an air, air conditioner. What is this one? I thought this might have something good in it. It looks like shoe boxes. Empty shoe boxes at that. Um, so we asked for the water heater and the guy gave it to us. The hot water heater so it's there um we did ask for ac the guy said no they take it with them but got herself some stackable chairs <laughs> that if they could be stacked they would have been stacked there but they're aluminum i don't know that i'm gonna do an unload of this because there's not much in there besides the fridge and the the water heater we're keeping the muffler and all the other stuff was already in there. And this is going to Jeffrey. It's almost time to go to the yard for after lunch. This, whoa, the second run was not quite as fruitful as the first, but I would have been happy stopping after our first run. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's good. Oh, I had a guy flag me down and when I was in the neighborhood with the refrigerator and he gave me a couple of uh, aluminum windows as well, which is also going to go to Jeff. Uh, let's break this guy down a little bit. I don't like the way he looks. And I saw that this thing might break down a little bit, make things a little bit easier for us. First, having it sticking all the way out of the trailer, I can do this. <laughs> all kinds of noise. Joint. Here we go. Yeah, there's one more. Thought I heard one more. I did. These look copper. <laughs> Or not, but they look copper. All right, let's go. A baby trooper. These are bathroom things. Two toilet paper holders. Ooh, some flowers even. And this one's even smaller. Yeesh. Come on, one more big pile would do me some good. This one's brand new. What'd you cost at Ross? $18.99. I hope it had a case with it. It was just the wire basket. Let's do some NFJ. Ooh, Nelly.
What's up, big boy? Do it. All of it. Everything. Of course you are. Except for the exhaust. What? Except for the exhaust. Except for the exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust is steel. Well, I'm gonna at least get the stainless steel off of it. At least that, if nothing less. Oh crap, forgot to get rid of that. No. I got enough stuff going home. That does not need to be one of the things. Man, I'll tell you what. Whoever welds this, man, I'll get your money back. Uh, it's factory well. It's factory well. Oh, you mean the trailer? He's talking about this. He's talking about the trailer. Oh. He's talking about the. Hey, it's not beautiful. It's functional, right, Jeffy? Well, that's the story of Jeff's life. <laughs> <laughs> Down and dirty. <laughs> Did you already do a set unit, dude? I one. Oh. Damn, I caught that. Oh. Yeah. I've been catching those. We, that gate needs some help. <laughs> Yeah. That well, don't do that then. I'll uh, try not to do that, see? <clears throat> that can't happen again. This is dirty, right? What? Well, that one's dirty, yeah. It has steel on the hinges, right? It is now. Well, okay. Some of these are dirty, though. What's the number? Uh, 46. This is heavy? Yeah. Is that brass or aluminum? It looks aluminum, right? Regular or extruded? I was wondering why I was being so finicky. I did that to myself last time too. Yeah. Two pounds of headache. Ready on extruded? Bro. Yeah, you're in a hurry today, aren't you? 
Not really. I'm just not used to getting here this late. This late? Yeah. I want to try to get my trailer home before I go to pick people's up. Where are the little batteries going, Jeffy? What? Two quarters. Where do you, over here or over there? And catches flies. And catches flies? Yep. Uh, centipede? No, a baseball team. How many legs? 18, because it was my oh. plan. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you'd like that one. What do you call a burning pocket? A burning pocket. Lot, lots of money. A hot pocket. A hot pocket. Why, why don't basketball players go on vacation? Uh, I don't know. I want to see someone with a dribble. They're, I don't know. They're not allowed to travel. They're not allowed to travel. Why were the socks sitting in the fruit bowl? Yeah, I don't know. Because they were a pair. What do you call the Cleveland Browns at, at the Super Bowl? Sorry, Cleveland fans. <laughs> Cleveland Browns. Oh, the Cleveland Browns. I thought he was thinking the Indians. Um, I don't know. Spectators. Spectators. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't Americans like knock knock jokes? I don't know. Because freedom rings. Oh. Where do hockey players get most of their money? Most of their money? From the puck? From the tooth fairy. From the tooth fairy. Ah. Oh. Alrighty guys, we're waiting paid. What a day, double load Monday. Gotta love it. So uh, let's dive in our receipt so we can try to get rid of this trailer before we gotta pick kids up. 10, two loads. First load was 1180 pounds, six cents a pound for 64.60. Second load was basically just that refrigerator, the water heater and some miscellaneous things. There was actually a couple of things I forgot to throw out. Uh, Jim came around the crane, I just wanted to get out of the way, so we did. Uh, 600 pounds, six cents a pound for 36 bucks. Sealed units off the two fridges, 46 pounds, 20 cents a pound for 920. Electric motors were off the dishwasher. Maybe it was just dishwasher, something else probably. 16, oh, the alternator. 16 pounds, 22 cents a pound for 352. Irony light was our dirty aluminum, which is basically mostly the chairs, 86 pounds, 28 cents a pound for 2408. Irony heavy was that door. Um, a bunch of the screws stripped, so I, I was just kind of hosed on that one. 30 pounds, 18 cents a pound for 540. Extrusion were the pieces that were already tore apart, plus a shower door, 20 pounds, 67 cents a pound for 1340. And then the two quarter batteries came out of that one Razor scooter. Uh, they were uh, two quarter batteries for a half battery for 275, for 275 for a grand total today, a 159.15. Two weeks in a row, we've done well on Mondays. We love Mondays. Not everybody does, but we do. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. Still not a lot of pickers. It's kind of surprising. Uh, this Wednesday is the uh, backup of the neighborhood that had the community sales this weekend. So we'll have to see if it uh, pans out or not. Otherwise, we're just going to see uh, what kind of hunt we can find. Make sure to smash that thumbs up on the way out. It's nacho stuff, but that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and we'll see y'all then.